Figure 1.5 shows a series circuit where resistors R1, R2 and R3 are connected in series and a voltage of V volts is applied at the extreme ends A and B to cause a current of I amperes to flow through all these resistors. Let's take a look at that circuit and you'll get a better idea. Note down figure 1.5. As you can see, R1, R2 and R3 are the resistances. V1, V2 and V3 are the voltage drops across the respective resistances. And V is the applied voltage. Now, V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. We noted that for a series circuit, the total voltage drop is the sum of the voltage drops across each resistor. That means V is equal to IR1 plus IR2 plus IR3. Applying Ohm's law here, V is equal to IR. That is, if you take I as a common factor, you get I into R1 plus R2 plus R3. Which means that V by I, if you take I to the left hand side, you get V by I is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. But according to Ohm's law, V by I is the total circuit resistance R. We consider that as a constant, right? Then R is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. When you substitute that constant to the previous equation. That means... The total resistance is equal to the sum of the individual resistances. Thus, when a number of resistors are connected in series, the equivalent resistance, that is the total circuit resistance, is given by the arithmetic sum of their individual resistances. Another point you have to remember in series circuit. Let's continue the chapter in the next part.